Okay, now here's a, a shot of the, the back again, uh, showing the muscles and movements and also the glutes. Uh, let's take a look at it. And there you see right, right underneath the shoulder blade, you can see the movement up and down uh, across. See it coming this way, that way, that way, that way. Um, and, and it'll switch to a filtered image that's of higher contrast. Uh, it's black and white. Uh, and then it'll switch back to color. But if you notice right here, that you can actually see the independent glutes working independently of one another right in here. You know, just you know, just kind of take a look right in right in this area right here, and they they doing what glutes do. Uh, you know, the reason why people say they don't see any glutes is because of the, the angle of the sun uh, and it's the overlying hair. You have two surfaces there. You have the hair surface, and the the light does penetrate the hair. Reflects back off the skin, comes back through the hair. We can pick it up if the angle's right, and the angle change as it walks, you know, upstream. So it caught it right here at a good angle, and you can actually see the the actual uh, uh, butt cheeks, the buttocks, and the, the 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 different cheeks moving independently of one another, right here, rocking back and forth as the file oscillates back and forth. You know, so you can kind of see that that whenever you make an improvement in the film, it opens doors to to doing other things with the film. Uh, you know, once I was able to to, uh, to get the skin tones to dominate a photograph, then I was able to put it together into a into a um, a running film, and then stabilize. Uh, stabilize the back, stabilize the head, stabilize the neck, stabilize the face, and and, and get that one percent working for you, that one percent boost, uh, so that we could see and, and clearly uh, interpret correctly, you know what's on this film. Now here's uh, where the stabilization becomes really valuable. Uh, just take a look at this area right in here, in this left arm. I became interested in what the thumb was doing, where the thumb was, and if it was an opposed thumb or or whatever, because you know you don't appear to be able to see it well, uh, and it sh you should be able to because you're looking at the inside of the left hand. So uh, what I did was to stabilize that arm and not allow that arm to move. It just stays stable along this one plane of movement. That way, anything moving this way or that way could be readily apparent. Uh, and you'll see what I mean. You'll see the whole body uh, of of the Sasquatch jump up and down, uh, out of out of uh, alignment, so that I could keep this arm aligned. Let's just run the run the uh, file. Now take a look right in here, and you'll see <laughs> that indeed it does have a thumb, and it moves that thumb. Um, I'll just kind of zoom in on it. You see, I just let let this all go. Let it let it be destabilized so that I can hold this arm in a stable position. And so that once I did that, you can see the thumb moving right there. Now let's go to another one. Well, I just kind of got the, uh, I cropped it where I just got the, uh, you know, the distracting part of the destabilized image out of the way. And there you see right there. Now you can see the fingers. And, and uh, don't get me wrong now. Um, oh, let me, hold on, I didn't zoom in on it. There we go. There we go. And, and what you're actually seeing, uh, even though it looks like the thumb is doing like this right here, if you'll notice that these fingers right here are rolling this way and that way, what's actually occurring is that thumb is doing this right here. Round and round. And, you know, that's sort of what someone does. I know I, I've done it many times. When you get nervous, 
or anxious, you know, you kind of roll your thumb. And, and she's rolling that thumb while she's walking. Of course, I've got it held steady. So uh, right now the fingers are rolling and the thumb is held steady. So it's just showing a movement like this. But if you, if you saw it in real time, were able to see it in real time, you would see that the thumb was actually rolling around and around like this right here. But but there it is in in its proper place uh, to be a an opposing thumb. So uh, just it's a thumb like you and I would have. Uh, but but uh, you see, the, all this data is there for anyone to extrapolate if they have good images to work with and know what they're doing. Uh, and the and the image and the film itself, like I said, it, uh, a hoax film will not produce a lot of data other than what was built into it. This right here continues to yield data and and on and on and on and on for years, uh, and continues to do so. So, you know, it's this is a live event, um, and this is another one of the. The, uh, the good indicators that you're looking at a living, breathing, a living thing that's not a hoax.